Upper Hillsboro is a great place to see wild turkeys here in Central Florida. We're taking a look at a successful cost share program, about 120 acres of a habitat management project we did in conjunction with the National Wild Turkey Federation. I'm Mark Maggard. I'm a lead land manager for the Southwest Florida Water Management District. The number one tool for land management here at the district is the application of prescribed fire. We like to go through and burn the woods like it naturally would have burned for thousands of years out here to see the results that we're after. Prior to the project, everything was about head high and gallberries and sweet gum. On this particular block, we do habitat management through mechanical treatment. That involves using roller choppers or hydro axes to come through, reduce the woody composition in these music flatwoods so that they're more manageable, so that fire may in turn in the future be able to be the only tool that we need to take care of this particular block. The project, from a district standpoint, it benefits us because the natural systems are now back in their more natural state. From a National Wild Turkey Federation standpoint, it's mutually beneficial because we're providing better turkey habitat for the Osceola turkey that you find here in Central and South Florida. But it's also beneficial from a water quality standpoint. It's beneficial for other species out here like the indigo snake, the gopher tortoise. Since that project's completion, after we've burned it, you'll see a lot of the species that we're after. We got a lot of different grasses out here. There's some wire grass coming in. There's some andropogons. There's a lot of blueberry. I saw some beautyberry out there, a lot of wildflowers. Those are all the key species that are indicators of a good habitat and a good natural system. Because we have had so many successful projects through the years and we have such a great relationship with NWTF here in the state, that's afforded us the opportunity to get more of these bids in the future. This upcoming year we have three different projects that will be cost shared through the NWTF. And those will be at Green Swamp West, Lake Panasofsky, and Potts Preserve. There's always been a turkey population here, but projects like these help those populations not only feed, but also reproduce and have a safe nesting area where they can watch out for oncoming predators and things like that.